everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sarah, aka your Miss High Peace. Today we are reviewing not one but two different sneakers, and this is uh, Nina Chanel Abney's collaboration. So I was actually lucky enough to get them on the sneaker app, and uh, I haven't opened these yet. So we're gonna open them together and see my first reaction and then of course down below please let me know what do you all think and uh, you know how is how's the design i've heard it's unique and if you if some of you may not know an, uh, a whole lot about uh, nina chanel apni she is a new york artist and i believe originally actually she's from chicago she's kind of you know famous American artist who has had her, uh, you know, paintings everywhere, and uh, she is. She has had two solo exhibitions, uh, one in Tokyo and then another one was in Chicago um, throughout her career, and then also she has had many other exhibitions uh, with different artists together in a uh, couple in New York City and a couple, I believe, in other. Uh, museums or exhibitions that they were so but the two big ones were definitely in Tokyo and Chicago so she's she's definitely a big deal so let's look into the open one and these are the Jordan 2's so we'll look at them together let me just open this one other box as well I love the boxes. All right, let's get this out of my way. So check this out. Look at these boxes. I mean, these are very unique and I can see, you know, wow. Uh, I mean, I'm definitely mesmerized by her design. Check this out. Look at this. It's amazingly beautiful color combination. I love the green, the red, and both sneaker has the same uh, you know, uh, a Jordan, of course, doing his shot uh, of throwing the ball. Let me give you a whole 360 of this box, which is, by the way, the material of the box is quite good compared to some of the other boxes but this is a really nice material it's sturdy so we have nina's name air jordan name again in the back with the logo so that's the front and the back so i did get a woman size uh, i'm a nine and men it's a seven and a half retail price for these were I believe it was about I actually do not remember how much I paid for them and it really doesn't show in the box either but I'll let you know later um, I do know they are sold out on Nike's app by the way so you could get them on either eBay StockX or GOAT so this is the other Air Jordan one this is the low ones um, the Air Jordan not ones I'm sorry the Air Jordan 2's and this is the low uh, Air Jordan 2 and these are the highs so again same kind of concept of the design box just a different color in the front and that's where I know some of you do message me and ask me because I think you are getting it from like a completely different third-party resale vendor um, if the sneakers are authentic or not so showing these definitely has helped you all um, knowing if you're buying the authentic shoes or not but I, I personally I wouldn't buy it from a vendor or you know reseller that I do not know and I don't know if they authenticize it or not but uh, I think my go-to usually is eBay, StockX and go because I know those are the three vendors that I could trust when it comes to reselling, you know, getting resealed sneakers from them if I can get it on Nike sneaker app or, or Adidas or confirmed app. So yeah, or even, you know, I need Pumas or any other brand that I'm looking into. I just, I try to go first to them first. So let's actually open these up. 
Oh, by the way, check this out. Very cool. I do love the colors of red, green, and white. It's great. And check this out. Amazing. So these are the the low Air Jordan 2s. I'm sure you guys have noticed a lot of artists or designers really do not design around Jordan 2s. Uh, the only two famous ones that I know of or have heard about it is Virgil, Ab Virgil Abloh. He had a design com com combo with the Jordan 2s. And then there was the Chris Gibbs, Union Chris Gibbs. They were the ones who had also a design, had a collab with uh, Nike and Jordan 2s. So check out this oversized tag and look at this art. See, you know, it's just, obviously I'm not gonna put it with the sneakers. I would not be wearing it because I think it'll just scratch the leather. Uh, but this is a very cool tag. It's heavy. So it's definitely metal material. The back of it has Nina, Chanel, the whole, you know, her, her complete name, which is very cool, but their Jordan logo on it. And then her design. This is very, very cool. So let's take a look at the whole thing. Oh, and they do come with extra laces, black. I don't think I'll be changing the laces just because I do like this natural color. Um, and I do love how you, you know, it's all leather and you could just dress it up or dress it down. So with my green and black <laughs> dress outfit, I think these would look good. And also the highs would look good as well. So we'll try them on later, but let's give you guys a little 360 review. Again, not a fan of the black ones. Uh, if anything, if I want to pop of color on the front, I'll probably put green laces maybe. That might look good, but it has to be this color. Uh, as close as possible. So here's the side of these sneakers. We have the suede up on the front and then just all leather, kind of embossed uh, leather look, uh, feel. It, you can, you know, it just has that texture leather. The back, the front has the Air Jordan logo and then the insole is actually all green just like the sneaker itself and it has her name on it it's a pretty pretty cool good design so these are the lows it's a big tag and you could probably i mean during the holidays you could put it on your christmas tree as a you know ornament that would be a cool touch if you're a sneaker hat or you know into I, but I think to have having a piece of Nina's art um, like as sneakers is pretty cool. Also, she did release, with this collaboration with Nike, she did uh, release five different um, apparels. So that was, we should, she had a hoodie, a jersey tee, uh, sports bra, pants, uh, which is all unisex, unisex by the way and she also had the, the crow socks. So everything else is, everything is sold out except the, the pants. So if you are an extra small or a medium, I believe, uh, but UK sizes, those two are still available. So let's look at the Jordan 2 Retros. These are the high ones. Check this out. This one comes with a tag too. So not one, but you get two tags if you get to have, if you buy two. So, wow. Huh. This is, I mean, these shoes are pretty cool. And this one does, it also comes with two laces with the white and the black. And this tag basically is the same one as the the low uh, Jordan 2s. The back of it is actually kind of different. So let me just give you a 360 review and I'll show you how this whole thing looks. That's the side of how it looks. 
do love this uh, the red which matches very much with the tag very cool uh, maybe if she did the, the whole uh, frame of this one all green uh, that would match with this i think that would be cool not that i'm wearing them together i'm just saying that would have been a good touch uh, but no it's it is great um do love it love the uniqueness of these different tags that the artists add um, to the sneakers i think it personalizes it that's the front with the red and the red on the back it matches the other side and the back like nike logo and one thing that this one i will compare it this one doesn't just because it's a low sneaker compared to this one that has the, the higher ones and then the insole is you might have guessed it correctly it is red but it doesn't have nina's name on it let me see actually each shoe might be different okay so okay yeah let me correct myself so the one on the insole on the left uh, shoe actually has the air jordan logo in it and i don't think you guys will be able to see it because it is a little dark here uh, or my camera would not be able to yeah but it is dark even if i look into it it's like okay it's pretty dark but it's the air jordan uh, logo on the insole and on this one it's nina's name in it so let me just double check yep and then for the lows it's the same thing the one has nina's name and then the other one has the air jordan logo in it so yeah pretty cool so let's try them on these compared to the high ones i just think this is more it just looks i just like the style compared to the high ones so definitely i think i'm gonna keep this one i like the lows i love the color combination i may change the laces but i also do like it it looks casual but at the same time i feel like i could dress it up and dress it down with my different outfits it looks cute with my outfit right now uh, goes perfectly but yeah I do like the lows compared to the to the high ones so definitely these are the ones that I'm gonna keep but let me know what you guys think do you guys think this which one looks better <laughs> I personally like these ones the low ones that I have on um, the high ones I think was just a little too high for me and around the ankle it wasn't as comfortable as I was wanted it to be uh, so it's kind of uncomfortable to be honest but these ones it's great it looks nice too it's comfortable the side looks really good the front it's very minimal yeah <laughs> this the the jordan 2 lows gets a thumbs up from me Thank you all for watching my sneaker review let me know what you think about these and i know i do love the jordan 2 lows compared to the retro high ones uh, and probably that's what i'm gonna keep but let me know what you all think i do love the fact that you could dress up or dress down with both of these sneakers you could just it's so versatile it uh it works either way again look at these boxes so amazing love love the design of these boxes you could even like use it as a art piece uh, or frame it just maybe the top part of the box um, at your house or office wherever but i think this would be like to have a piece of uh, nina chanel abney's art it's pretty cool and you know we love supporting our artists obviously anyway guys Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and support your girl. 
I'll talk to you guys soon. Until then, ciao!